In this active campaign automation tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get higher click-through rates using an autoresponder. And to do that, we're not going to use the default autoresponder capability in auto active campaign. Normally you'd go to campaigns, then you would create a new campaign and choose autoresponder. You don't get quite the power and flexibility you need um, to accomplish higher click-through rates using the built-in capability. Instead, we want to create an automation that does an autoresponder, but with a little bit of a twist to it. So let's start by creating a new automation. We're going to start from scratch. And it doesn't really matter how you get somebody on here, but probably it's going to be they submit a form. So let's just do that. And I'm going to pick one form here. You really just want to do it once and you want to click on start. So give it a name, save it, and go ahead and make it active. And then the first thing you want to do is send off an email. So go ahead and create an email. And I'm just going to put a placeholder email. I'm going to call it email one. And I'm just going to use some something here. Again, we'll call it email one. I'm not going to worry about the content at this point. I just want to get the structure laid out properly so that I've got an autoresponder. And I'm just going to save and exit for now. It might still be in draft mode, but that's fine for what we're trying to accomplish here. So you send out email one, and there should be a link in there. If we're going to increase our click-through rates, we have to have a link in there. So we send it out. And instead of waiting simply for a day, let's go ahead and do that anyways. Let's wait for a day. We're going to go ahead and do that. And normally we would send out email two, but guess what? I am going to set that up for now. Create email two. And I'm going to put a link in here. Not going to use this feature. And I'm going to go ahead and save and exit for now. And I'm going to continue to build out this automation that's going to act as an autoresponder. I'm going to put in five different emails. Okay, that was super fast. I have uh, created five different emails with a day in between them. Every email has a link in them. And I'm actually going to end this automation. So this would be kind of a normal um, autoresponder series. Nothing fancy. We're going to add a little bit more to it. And this is where you get the higher click-through rate. Now, the downside of this <clears throat> is it could take longer. 
So instead of sending out five emails over five days, you might actually end up sending 10 emails over 10 days. So what I wanna do here is throw in some conditions. So for instance, after the first email, I wait for a day and then I wanna check. So I'm gonna put in an if else statement. And the condition I want is an action, has clicked on a link, any campaign, well, let's just say email one, and it's any link, but there is this one, so I could specify it, and I'll just do that. So if they've done that, we want to send them this email. Otherwise, we're, gonna, we're going to send email one again. You could create another version of it, but we're just simply going to resend that same email again. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another wait in there for a day. And then finally, I wanna go, I wanna go to uh, email two at this point. So I'm gonna go here. So what have we got? And we're gonna keep repeating this further and further down. So email one gets sent, we wait for a day, and then we check, did they click on a link in that email? If they didn't, let's resend email one or a different version of it, wait another day, and then go and send email two. So I'm guaranteed to get higher click-through rates simply because I'm giving people more of an opportunity to click. Now, if somebody has already clicked a link in the first email, great, they're gonna get the second email on the second day. And again, I'm gonna wait right here. I'm gonna put an if else statement in there. Actions has clicked on a link. This time it's going to be email two. And I'm just gonna leave it as any link. Okay. So what do we do now? We send email to again. We wait for a day. Then we send email three. This gets repeated over and over again. And that's how you set up uh, autoresponder sequence that is designed to get a higher click-through rate. I'm gonna shrink the screen up a little bit and you can see it gets very, very, very busy quickly in here. Now, there's another way to accomplish this without using the if-then conditions. You can use goals, but for the purpose of this demonstration, this makes it easy to see that yes, when somebody doesn't do something, you basically resend that email to them again, giving them another opportunity to click on the link that you sent to them, and then continue on with your automation. So that's what you need to do for active campaign autoresponders to get higher click-through rates.